All Life Second Gen members are here, also known as the Hollow Council. All Life Council? English Council? Well, whatever they are called, they're here. Now, according, and I quote, according to the trailer I've watched is that they're entities created by gods that maintains the balance of the world, supposedly. Instead of having simps, we'll be getting cults that worship, gives money, and whatnot. Wow. We are far away from an idol corporation, because this is getting ridiculous than before. I have no judgment on cult activities, but I would never, under any circumstances, join cults, because I hate it. So I'm just going to treat the second gen as any other VTubers, because that is what I choose to do. Because in hindsight 10, I don't know if people say that, after their debut, they'll eventually forget their roles and we're all gonna die. Certified fact from an unlicensed guy. It's an interesting lore they put up, but I doubt we'd see any more than that. So let's just get to my first impressions on them, see how they look like, what their personalities would be, and who am I going to sip? I mean, watch their streams. Alright, from the trailer, there was a narrator giving the synopsis. I'm going to take a wild guess that the narrator is this girl. Oh god, that's massive. Oh wait, Tsukomo Sana, the speaker of space, has a pair of twin tails with balls. Feel free to interpret that, I don't care. Tanned, golden eyes, and has some sort of catalyst drawn from a kindergartner. I bet she's the one who drew it. The only way to save the world is to validate the existence of space. Well, there's one area that's validating around here, so I'm not sure if your theory is valid. Hey, she has that mosquito killer smoker antenna. Guess she doesn't have to worry about mosquito bites. Her art style looks very familiar to me. Looks like a certain anime I've watched. Paco sounds familiar. Oh, it's that guy that drew Karna and Nobu. Wait, she's drawn from the same guy? But they look so drastically different, how? She looks like she came from an anime. Is she really drawn from Paco? She literally looks like an anime girl. Is this really Paco's? I mean, the eyes do look similar. Okay, maybe she's drawn by Paco. I think. Is there another Paco? Oh yeah, according to the profile, she's quite childish. Guess that explains the drawing there. She might have an intellect of a kindergartner, probably be in her learning phase, get to know some sort of activities that humans would do, but I could assume that she might have curiosity in her. Despite looking mature, they said she has a childlike personality, so I'm gonna go with that. Sarah's Fauna. Ooh, a fitting name for Mother Nature. Also known as the Keeper of Nature. She has antlers. I'm guessing an elk. That's the first thing that popped into my mind looking at her. Okay, so they're not antlers. They're branches from a certain tree. Way to specify the detail on that. Her overall design is nice, has a gentle look, and has the colors and features that really speaks out that she is, indeed, Mother Nature. It says she has Kirin blood. I forgot what Kirins are. Okay, so they're also called Chilin, and they're mythical hooved chimerical creatures from Chinese mythology. Huh. Now that you think about it, her attire does resemble from China. I think her personality would be mostly gentle. Maybe a motherly love. I mean, when I look at her, she does have that mother vibe going on. I can imagine the comments saying, Sarah's mama, mommy nature, or please step on me, Sarah's mama. But don't take that from me, that's what I'm predicting. And yeah, she might have some knowledge of plants, cause if she doesn't, well, I guess we can't call her mother nature, huh? Next, we got Oral Crony, the warden of time. Nice that you put her name Crony there. I can assume that's an altered name for Chrono. Her design looks strikingly familiar from those eyes and those boobs, which are very nice. A strong resemblance to Wada Arco's design. Is she drawn from Wada Arco? It is from Wada Arco! What do you know? Well, she did model a VTuber design for Rin Tozaka, so it wouldn't be her first rodeo. And I'm assuming that Wada Arco is a she, since others called her a she. But I love her arts. Her notable works would be from Fate Extra characters like Nero, Tamamo, and BB. She can make the cutest and sexiest girls she draws, and I am a fan of her work. You can easily tell from their eyes because that is her notable style. And she probably has a thing for butts. But who am I to judge? I love boobas. She draws good boobas too. Okay, her design looks something that came from Sailor Moon since I'm seeing her bow with a heart shape. And oh ho 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 ho, black leggings. Mmm. The weapon she's holding on her left reminds me of Kingdom Hearts from the shape of it. Okay, she literally has an oversized clock on her head that is too big to fit into her profile. She literally has a head of a helicopter. So yeah, she can easily fly with her helicopter head. Let's see what the profile says. Nan may escape the sands of time and indeed most men do not even wish to be freed from her captivity. Huh? Picked up a blade it's almost as a reflex action of sorts, seems to be enjoying it. Her quiet, aloof personality has never changed over the ages, but she has developed a bit of haughtiness and sadistic tendencies along the way. 
Huh. Humans went on to give time individual meaning, such as Dawn and Dawn's making it universal. Humans became enslaved to time and were return for empowering her. In her present form, she has become a sadistic, prideful warden. Huh, so that's why she calls herself a warden. From what I've read, she is an S that most men doesn't want to be freed because they're all M's, I assume. Not sure if she would openly admit herself as sadistic. Because if she did, I'd be surprised that she wasn't embarrassed to say it. But if she is known to be an S, then she would need that looking down expression and calls you a pervert, piece of trash, or a buta. Was she inspired by BB to be sadistic? No, it could be Mel. Nanashi Mume, the guardian of civilization. I don't know why she's named Nanashi since it means no name or nameless. Might be something about her character, but let's see. I love the floating bag. It's cute. Her overall design is pretty cute too. Resembles a traveling scholar and has feathers on her head. She kind of resembles Amber. Love the mislaid stockings. We can now have best taste of both bare leg and legging in one set. Nice. Okay, so it does connect to her character as Nanashi. So she has a vast knowledge of the world, but has forgotten most of them, even her own name. So you're telling me that she knows everything about the world, including the hentais, but forgets them? Please don't tell me we're going into this fate logic. It says she wasn't created by gods, but she's a manifestation of humanity's efforts. So you're saying that humanity has simped so hard on a waifu that they were acknowledged by manifesting a waifu for them? Is that what you're saying? Okay then. Oh, we got Ollie's long lost twin sister. This is wonderful. Ollie would be so happy to reunite with her sister. What? They're not sisters? What do you mean? There's a striking resemblance to each other. Okay, fine. Finally, we have Hako's Bells. Huh, sounds like an attack name you would scream in anime. Hako's <laughs> Chaos. That's pretty much it. And yeah, her design is all over the place. I guess that's chaos for you since there are no sense of style. No offense. She even has mouse ears and a small mouse on her head. Probably names it Mousy, I guess. And as you can see, she is a rat. It even says rat on her shirt. Ooh, there's even flames on her eyes. That's cool. What's my first impression of her? She'd be kind of dumb. Probably so smug at times yet would fail miserably. That's what I'm getting from her. And I wasn't reading the synopsis yet. Gods appointed her chairperson of the council. Wow, gods must be dumber than I thought from that poor decision making. Mostly takes a hands-off approach and has yet to accept the decision, much like her fellow members. Hmm. Her mouse-like appearance has deceived many a fool who fails to realize that mice are harbingers of chaos. Well, I've watched Tom and Jerry, so I guess that makes sense. She often flashes in her frequent romps. Chaos is confusion and disarray, fortune and tragedy is freedom form of all logic and inherent nature of life. She believes that rules are not the be-all and end-all, which is why she has come to break them all. Watching the aftermath is her greatest joy, and so she remains a bystander to the destruction caused by mayhem. So in other words, she is the manifestation of chaotic evil. So yeah, case in point, she'll be the craziest one of the council, doing random things and screaming. Not sure if she would stand up to Ollie's craziness or Hachama's inhuman tendencies, but we'll see. So yeah, that's all of the council members. So to summarize, once they debut, they'll just introduce themselves who they are and what their roles are. Next thing you know, they will remember their roles streaming games watch alongs read alongs chatting singing then we'll all die end of story all right i forgot to who i'm looking forward to it'd be crony since i do love arco's art but yeah looking forward to all their debuts and see how it goes